Hello everybody, I'm Sharp and Blade, and today we're finally going to take a look at the Civivi Riffle. I've had this knife for a while now, and I keep forgetting to take uh, time to make a review, so I'm going to make that review today. Now, this may not be an overly extensive review because there are lots of reviews out there for this knife already, but I'll hit the highs and the lows, and we'll go from there. So, again, at the end of the video, I'll have all the specs and size comparison, so if you just are interested in that, you can skip right to the end. I'll be switching to the tabletop mode, but for right now, we're just going to go through this uh, piece by piece and see where we end up. <laughs> so, this is the riffle. This is in the dark green micarta. I'm just going to give a nice little 360 view and see some of the weight relief that's been done in there. The dangerous, <laughs> the dangerous angle with an open blade. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so you are looking at a blade steel of, I can't remember what this one is. I think it's 14C28N. Where is the, oh my goodness, is that it there? It's such a tiny yeah, it's 14 c 20 it's so small, which is nice. It's nice not to have a bunch of crap all over the blade. But anyways, 14 c 28 in, uh, drop point, full flat grind. Not really a full flat grind. You got this here, but it's, at least right here, it's full flat grind. But uh, yeah, nice flat grind makes it relatively slicey. It's uh, thin, relatively thin to compare to my head. <laughs> relatively thin blade stock on it. Uh, it is slicey. It's not a laser beam by any means, but it is a nice slicey knife. It worked well on cardboard and obviously paper and tape and plastic wrap. But uh, yeah, it's a nice usable EDC knife. Um, you've got T8 hardware everywhere except for the pocket clip, which is nice. Uh, the pocket clip, like I say, is, well I didn't say, pocket clip is uh, deep carry. Uh, it's not recessed into the micarta scales but the pocket clip screws are flat at least so it goes in and out of the pocket quite easily you can also carry it left-handed for all you lefties all you fellow lefties out there i'm soon getting a full-on left-handed knife uh, probably next month so i'm excited for that I carry everything right-handed right now and i uh, just kind of open it right-handed and then switch it over to my left and cut with it kind of awkward so it'd be nice to have a full i could just switch the pocket clips over and carry it but then you got like a liner locks but anyways <laughs> that's a different story for a different video so yeah you got a liner lock uh it has a decent lock up about 30 percent lock up on it not too early not too late uh no blade play whatsoever no just kidding <laughs> no blade play whatsoever on it no lock rock it's a uh, solid lock up uh, it's got micarta, like I said, it's the dark green, there's other colors. Um, I got this from White Mountain Knives, so I'll link White Mountain Knives' uh, riffle page in the description of this video. So yeah, um, the micarta, not, it's kind of a love-hate relationship. When I first got into micarta knives, I had briefly uh, owned an Elementum with the same type of micarta on it, and I really liked the micarta. But I've experienced other micarta since then, and this isn't the greatest micarta. <laughs> I don't really like the feel of it. You can in the unboxing video, I said like it had a, kind of a, a texture to it, kind of like a waxy feel to it, um, and I said it felt nice. It it feels nice at first. I was like, yeah, it's nice. But the more I use it, the less I like it. I don't really like the feel of it in hand. Uh, it looks a little like I. It looks like I should oil it because it. It's kind of, it's hard to tell in this light. I need better lights. Um, it's kind of paled a bit. Like I thought maybe my hands suck oil out of things. Because <laughs> you're supposed to patina your knives with the oil from your hands. But this actually got lighter with you. So I don't know <laughs> what's going on there. But uh, anyways, I don't know. We're not a big fan of the micarta. Um, it's got a micarta backspacer uh, with a little lanyard pin there for you the action 
<laughs> a brain fart there. So the action. Um, not great with the flipper. Uh, I gotta say, I messed around with it again in the unboxing. I said how I didn't really like it and I messed around with it. I didn't really do anything to the knife per se. I just used it. And, and it's all right. It's all right. It's just kind of, eh, it's kind of meh. Like overall, I'm kind of disappointed with this. Uh, if you if you really press on it, if you deliberately flip it out, it works fine. But it's just <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's just not uh, not super snappy. Not as snappy as the brazen uh, that I got in a little bit ago. It is super snappy uh, action with the flipper. Their flipper action is not great. They struggle with detent. Uh, at Civivi. Um, the, however, I guess it's kind of it's the same idea. It's in the same realm as the thumb stud. The thumb stud action and the thumb hole action. Thumb hole is uh, usually spot on, which this is. Now I have to hold up kind of high here, but see, it's uh, it uh, and it's all right on close. It's not drop shutty, but it's fairly smooth. But yeah, that's that's nice. That's satisfying. They really could have gotten rid of this flipper tab. Really could have done away with that and just hit it strictly with the thumb hole. It would have been fine. Um, the flipper tab does have uh, jimping on it. If that shows up half decently well. It doesn't. You'll see it close up <laughs> on the tabletop. Uh, but it's not really in the best location. It really probably should be up a little higher. And then you get more leverage. Maybe a little bit bigger. I do like the hole in it. It looks kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, like it's a decent action. It's okay. If you like Civivi's action, then you'll like this. <laughs> if, if you're like, I don't really like Civivi's action that much on flippers, then this isn't going to win you over. The brazen, check out the brazen, it, it, it might. But, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. It, it does work well with the thumb hole though. So I am impressed with that. Uh, there we go. <laughs> um, but yeah. Not bad. Uh, the detent is, um, it's okay, but it's just, it could be stronger. Um, the pocket clip is angled because uh, they decided to be influenced by a Sith Lord. Is he a Sith Lord? I'm pretty sure he's a, a Sith Lord. <laughs> uh, they decided to go the whole Count Dooku. I mentioned this a few times, so it's maybe if you watch my videos, you may be like, stop comparing it to Count Dooku. <laughs> But his lightsaber hilt, you know, has that little like a uh, little curve to it there. So because of that little curve to it there, um, it sits at a pretty pretty aggressive angle in your pocket. So which is like this would be the outside of your pocket. So I mean, it's not like it's sticking into your in your way, uh, but it does allow for your hand to really go past the flipper tab. This is not a pocket pecker at all. So you know that's one good thing. Um, and then into ergos, the ergos are fine because it's fairly neutral other than like I said Count Dooku's little lightsaber hilt here. It's pretty neutral. Now if you have big ol' big ol' hands, you might, uh, this might become a, uncomfortable for you. You know, uh, if say it was like here on you, uh, big hand, but <laughs> uh, you might notice it's a little weird feeling, but for uh, medium sized hands or smaller it's good large size hands probably would be fine too but me for medium it's perfect for medium and then the jimping right here boop. Uh, nice it's not super aggressive but it's usable and it functions well um, overall the knife is like typical Civivi right good quality uh, actions okay um, the thumb if it wasn't for that thumb hole it'd be fairly disappointing but that that hole there with the reverse flick does make it pretty satisfying so the action's okay uh the ergos are good the the materials are, are good my card is lacking a little bit it's not the greatest my card but it's fine th screws you know decent clip the clip is not a hot spot on this knife uh it's a long enough knife that it stays pretty much to the back of your side of your hand here so it's not a hot spot at all so that's nice 
just noticed I have a line on my finger. <laughs> uh, paint. So anyways, um, yeah, overall, typical Civivi. If you like Civivis, you'll like this one. If you don't like Civivis, try it because the design does look nice. But this isn't going to make you fall in love with Civivi, I don't think. But uh, anyway, it's a solid Civivi offering. So take that how you will. Uh, uh, it's going to stay in my collection because it does look nice on the shelf. But that's about it for me. <laughs> Anyways, and it does, I mean, it, as far as cutting utensils go, it does cut well. So there you go. And it came sharp out of the box. And it's on bearings. And <laughs> here's some random facts. <laughs> it's on bearings. And it's got the uh, stop pin like, built into the blade. I don't know if you call it an internal or external stop pin. I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, because people kind of go back and forth on that, I guess. But this, it's on the blade. Okay, so here are the specs. And here are the size comparisons. So this, we'll do a bunch of Civivis. <laughs> so this is the Miniasticus. And this is the Brazen. See that's, okay, just a second here. I'm gonna compare this, just so you see what I mean. Because I mentioned this in the review earlier. Um, see that? And then, oh. See how much snappier that is? Yeah, that's what I mean. It's not a very snappy action on the riffle. So there's it, the brazen and the mini asticus. And you've got elementum and the button lock elementum. I'm, my gracious, I'm knocking everything around. Uh, it's a decent size, you know, fairly long handle. That's good. Not a huge knife, but it is a decent size. Um, and you've got the channel favorites, the Rat Model 1 and the Rat Model 2. So it's kind of basically in line with these knives here right in the middle. And also if you've stuck around this long, I probably should have did this at the first of the video, <laughs> but uh, Gideon from Gideon Stuff, another channel on YouTube, I mentioned before, you should check him out. You definitely should. If you haven't checked him out yet, you definitely should. Great reviews. Uh, and he's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> but um, he and I have created a Facebook group called the Civivi Backlash Club. Um, and it's not backlash as in the knife. It's backlash as in the term backlash. So if you have any grievances with Civivi or... If you just want to share some funny memes about Civivi, or if you want to look for basically uh, other knives <laughs> than Civivi, because honestly, the the knife community uh, is hypes up Civivi quite a bit, and there are other knives that kind of get lost in the shadows, if that makes any sense. Other knife brands, so. We kind of try to highlight other knife brands out there that are worth looking at. So uh, we're not like hating on Civivi. It's just that there are other things out there being done better by other knife brands. So I will leave a link to the Civivi Backlash Club in the description of this video. We'd love to have you there. So far we have eight members, but we'd love to have many, many more. Please take a chance and check that out. And... Uh, Thanks so much for watching the video. Take care.